Do you remember the recent Microsoft outage that caused major disruptions all over the world due to a single crowd strike update? Hospitals were not working, banks were closed, airports were shut down, and all of this just because of a single update. Crazy, right? However, this could have been easily avoided with proper monitoring and alerting practices. Now, this is obviously a bad news for Microsoft, but incidents like these proves how important monitoring and logging are in software development lifecycle. So, in this video, we will look at importance of monitoring and logging in DevOps processes, what are some popular monitoring tools, and also best practices when implementing monitoring and logging in your DevOps workflow. This is going to be a very informative video. I will also show you a demo of a very popular monitoring tool. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's start. So hey everyone and welcome to Cloud Champ. Logging and monitoring are absolutely important for a DevOps engineers to know. So let's begin with monitoring first. So what is monitoring? According to the definition, monitoring is a process of continuously watching and measuring the performance of your applications, systems, or infrastructure. This means collecting information like CPU usage, memory consumption, or other metrics to make sure your application is performing as you want. Now, there are different types of monitorings depending on what kind of data do you want to monitor. For example, infrastructure monitoring, which will look at the health of your servers, networks, databases, etc. There is also application monitoring, which will make sure your application is running fine by checking response rates, transaction volumes, or even error rates. Additionally, there is also cost monitoring, which is very common in cloud architecture to make sure you're not spending more than your specified budget. Apart from this, there are also many other types of monitorings that you will come across when working as a DevOps engineer. So this is a very high level overview of how monitoring happens in DevOps. Now let's look at logging. Similar to monitoring, logging is also a very important DevOps practice, which will provide you with information on what is happening inside your application. Using logging, you can detect and troubleshoot issues in production environment. So what is logging? According to the definition, logging is a process of capturing and storing data generated by your systems or applications, which is very important for troubleshooting in case you got some issues. This is what logs look like. Logs are timestamp data which will tell you what is happening inside your systems. And there are different types of logs like error log, info log, debug log, etc. So imagine you have an application running on a Kubernetes cluster on Linux operating machine, and you also have logging enabled for it. So the system logs will provide you with information about the health of the system, uh, CPU performance, etc. The Kubernetes logs will capture events, which will help you troubleshoot issues like pod failures, deployment issues, service not exposed, or which node is taking more CPU or RAM, information like this. Whereas the application log will focus more on the application related activities, like application is not working properly, there is a latency issues, or customers are facing some problems, all that. You can also get security logs, which can help you track any unauthorized access on your application or your Kubernetes cluster. Logs or logging make it so easy to find and troubleshoot issues, so this is why as a DevOps engineer, you need to know how to read logs and also how to enable logs for your applications or Kubernetes cluster. Now that we have understood what monitoring and logging is along with an example, I hope you understood how important it is to have logging and monitoring enabled for your applications as a DevOps engineer. In the DevOps market right now, there are so many different monitoring and logging tools. You would have definitely heard about the popular open source monitoring tool, which is Prometheus and Grafana. Prometheus along with Grafana is used to collect and also visualize metrics in a good dashboard. For logging, you can use open search or Logstash. Jaeger is a very popular tracing tool. So there are separate tools for monitoring, for logging, for tracing, but this is not how we do in real DevOps projects. We need a single tool. Let me explain why you will need a single tool for monitoring, logging and tracing. Let's say you have an application which is facing some issues. While checking metrics, you found out that the CPU utilization is very high. You are going to go deep inside the logs and traces to find out the root cause on why is my CPU high. So we are going to be using metrics, traces and logs all together. And this is why we need a singular tool such as logs.io. 
So what is logs.io? Logs.io is a very popular observability platform that is used by many big organizations like Unity, Siemens, Sneak, and many more. For this demo, I have an open telemetry application deployed on AWS, and I will be using logs.io to check metrics, analyze logs, and traces. Thank you logs.io for sponsoring this video and sending me amazing swags. Make sure to check out logs.io. The link is in description. Let's get into the demo now. And this is my logs.io account. I will be using this account to walk you through the demo. But if you want to create your account, you can create it for free from the link in the description. All you need is to fill in your details and start using logs.io to analyze your logs, metrics and traces. But if you're a company or an organization who is looking for an observability tool, you can also schedule a demo with the logs.io team to understand how you can use logs.io for your applications. Logs.io is designed to collect and analyze telemetry data, which includes metrics, logs, traces, and even security information through SIEM. So logs are managed by OpenSearch, which provides you with robust analytical capabilities. Metrics are handled through Prometheus, a very powerful monitoring solution. Whereas traces are managed through Jaeger, providing you with distributed tracing to understand how microservices talk to each other which means you get the best of monitoring tool all in one platform. Let's start with logs first. Logs are very important to monitor any application and logs.io makes it so easier with all its different feature. Let me show you a demo. Right now we have logs here and you can filter logs based on a particular keyword or also timestamp. But along with this, you also have another feature where you can get more information about any log using this machine learning option, which is observability IQ. So using this, you can get to know more information about anything in your logs. So let's say you want to get more information about this code line, you know, you can just ask the AI to tell you more about it. And then it will give you information, which will make it more easy for you to troubleshoot any errors or any issues that you get inside your logs. Let's say we are asking, tell me the most common error log. And then it gives you an output based on the provided data. There are no error logs. Now let's talk about metrics. Logs.io uses Prometheus to collect and visualize metrics. You can get metrics from EC2 instances, Kubernetes clusters, and a lot more. Logs.io can be integrated with all the major clouds and also programming languages. So I have all these different dashboards here. Along with this, you can also run queries. Additionally, you also have alerting that you can set up to get alerts for a particular metrics. You can get traces for individual services, for example, ad service or account service or checkout service here. So this is very important whenever you have a microservices architecture. Next amazing feature that I like about logs.io is this app 360, which is way better than any traditional application performance monitoring tool. Using app 360, you can get information or metrics about all your different microservices on a single page. So if you want to know how is your accounting service performing, you can see that here right on app 360. You can also compare how this service is working compared to yesterday. So you can also do that here. This is made particularly for Kubernetes and microservices application. And talking about Kubernetes, you also have Kubernetes 360. Similar to App360, you can get information about all your pods, nodes, different services inside your cluster on a single page, which makes it so much easy to troubleshoot and also solve different Kubernetes error. So if you have a Kubernetes application, make sure to check out or use Kubernetes 360 here. Wow, isn't this amazing? Your company might be using some other monitoring tool, maybe Prometheus or CloudWatch or maybe something else, but you can obviously suggest them to use logs.io for your application. As a DevOps engineer, you need to have experience with any one of the monitoring tool that your company might be using. Now that you know this, let's summarize all the information we have got in this video by looking at best practices when implementing DevOps and logging for your application. So the first best practice when setting up monitoring and logging for your application is to follow centralized approach. Make sure your monitoring and logging systems are all at one place so that you can check metrics, analyze log, trace events, all of them on a single platform like logs.io. Second best practice is to make sure you are collecting important data rather than collecting garbage data. And to do this, you can implement proper log retention policies to balance between storing important data for troubleshooting and compliance, while also making sure that you are managing your storage cost. This is very important because I've seen many companies who store all kinds of logs, which they are not using, and hence they are paying a lot for storage. So make sure you have proper log retention policies. 
Third important best practice is to make sure you set automated alerts. So you should set automated actionable alerts for metrics that are important for your business to make sure you can detect and troubleshoot issues very, very quickly before your customer finds out. Many monitoring tools support Slack, Gmail, etc. Even logs.io supports it. So make sure to check it out. Next thing to keep in your mind is scalability. Make sure you have a monitoring solution which should scale up along with your infrastructure and should also be able to handle large volumes of data. Last but not least, make sure you have a tight security. You should be enabling security locks to find out any authorized access or online attacks that could cause issues to your systems before it happens. So these are some best practices you should keep in mind when you set up monitoring and logging in your application. So this was our video on what monitoring and logging is and how it helps in DevOps workflow. As a DevOps engineer, it is very, very, very important to understand monitoring and logging. So I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Also make sure to check out logs.io, an amazing observability tool. They are providing you with a free account. The links is in description. I am going to be creating an observability project. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.